I'm going to have a go at tonight's tea. I'm going to make um, some Slimming World um, KFC chicken. I've not made it before. And I'm going to do chips and I'm going to do a little pots of um, barbecue beans to go with it. Um, I haven't worked out the sim value yet, as per normal, but I will before the end of the video. So I've got a couple of chicken breast portions, such as those. And I've also got some of this cooked chicken slices that's frozen. So I'm going to try and do like um, little strips of KFC chicken and also a breast each of KFC chicken. And I've got my chips on the boil in there. I prefer to boil them first. I think they cook a lot quicker in the oven if you pre-boil them um, even for about eight minutes and then they don't take quite so long if you put them in straight into the oven. And they cook nicer, I think. They've got a little, give them a little bit of a shake but before you put them on the tray. Um, with a little bit of spray light and a little bit of salt. And um, I think they cook much nicer than just putting them in raw straight into the oven. I have tried it that way. I'm not supposed, I don't know if you're supposed to do it that way or not. I don't know. But I think boiling is better. So <laughs> I boil them. So what you need for this is some pretty basic things, some flour, which I'll have to sin, um, and some paprika, and some salt and pepper, and I might put a little bit of Cajun spice in there just to give it a little bit of a heat, yeah, zing, something like that, so yeah, I'll give that a go. And I'm going to put it all in a bag, and then I'm going to add the chicken to milk, and then coat it in milk, and then add it to the bag of the seasoning and then go from there. Alright then, so I'll get all my stuff together and I will be back. So my potatoes are nearly um, ready to go into the oven. So I'm just going to now switch the oven on. And I've put my beans in my saucepan and I'm going to add um, some of these crucials. And this is the Caribbean barbecue sauce. And I do believe it's a sin per tea per um, tablespoon. So I'm putting in two dessert spoons of barbecue sauce into my beans and mixing those round because I think that'd be plenty. You don't want them too sweet because barbecue sauce can be a bit sweet. So that's that. And then I've got here my scales with um, a bag on. And I'm going to put in 25 grams of flour into my bag. Which I do believe is five sins, but I will check that. And then into that, I'm going to add some Cajun spice a tea, good teaspoon a good pinch of salt and some pepper good pinch of pepper that a little mix. Okay. Now I think that Cajun spice has got a little bit lost so I'm going to put another teaspoon in. There we go. Oh, uh, in. Okay, so then what I'm going to get is my almond milk and I'm going to be putting that in this bowl for dipping my chicken in. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. So I'm just going to sort my chips out, get them in the oven and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've got my chips in the oven and I'm just about to um, start the chicken. So I've got my milk, I haven't put too much in there, I've just put some almond milk in this bowl 
which I am just going to put the chicken into. Give it a bit of a soak in the milk. And then I'm going to put that in the bag. I'll put both in. And give it a shake around. So all that flour, well not all of it, but it gets coated, you get the idea, in flour and spice. Then I'm going to take it out, making sure it's all got in there. Shake off any excess. That's it. Now I'm going to put these bits in first because they're going to take a lot longer than those little strips. So I'll add those in and then I'll give them. God. I'll give them five minutes. I can't see. I'll give them five minutes, um, six minutes extra, and then I'll put the other ones in. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've done the little bits of um, chicken strips, so they're in there, they've all had a bit of a coating as well. And I've got some milk left, so it, it didn't really soak up the milk, it just sort of made it um, wet enough so that the um, flour would and the space spices would stick to it. So that's going in the, down the sink, can't do anything with that. And um, I've got my oven quite high. I've got it on at 220 and I'm going to leave it high um, for, I, I think it's probably going to take 18 to 20 minutes to cook those and I think the bigger pieces will take um, 25 to 30 minutes and the last 10 minutes, the last 5 minutes I'll turn it down probably to 200 but I'm going to keep it high because I want to try and make a, like a bit of a crispy coating on the chicken and unless you have it high I don't think you're going to get that effect and I think the chips would be alright, they're alright 220, they're not going to hurt um, so yeah, so I'm going to put these in in a minute and um, next thing you'll see is uh, me getting it out so um, I'll show you when, I'm, when I'm, it's all cooked and I'm ready to put it out while I'm waiting I thought I might make some coleslaw to go with it I thought that would be quite nice, just a little pot, pot of coleslaw each I have done a video previously on this, um, but for those of you that can't be bothered to look at that video, I'll just do, go through it again. You literally shred some red cabbage, some white cabbage, a red onion and a carrot, which I need to get out. Give it a squeeze of lemon. Add, I've made some Easy Yo um, Greek yoghurt, um, so add a couple of um, tablespoons of that, natural yoghurt, anything like that. Um, and a couple of uh, light mayonnaise and then just add whatever you like really I usually put a bit of Cajun in there and maybe a bit of garlic salt in there as well so I'll shred it all up and then I'll show you what it looks like okay so I've shredded up all my vegetables so I've got my carrot in there and I hand just sliced um, the white cabbage, the red cabbage and the onion and I just used half a half an onion and to that I am going to now add a two dessert spoons of light mayonnaise one, a little bit less than that one because that other one was quite full and the same with my Greek yoghurt, so two of the Greek yoghurts, and then I've got some lemon, I'm just squeezing in some lemon, <laughs> quite literally, <laughs> God, and I've got my pips in there as well, oh dear. Let's get them out. No one wants a pip, do they? Oh, lordy. And then um, some of this garlic salt. Don't be too heavy handed. What are you choking on? Right. And 
and some Cajun. So a good, good sprinkle of that. Then mix it all round, and there you go. Oh my God, do you know I'm survey handed. <laughs> There's your coleslaw. <laughs> So keep giving it a mix round. And I mean, I didn't do a lot of that cabbage. But it's made plenty. As you can see. There you go. Homemade coleslaw. Takes five minutes, if that. And quarter of the price of um, how, much, how much you will pay, you know, in the supermarkets, and a lot nicer. So there you go. So there we have it, all finished. So the, so there we are. We've got KFC chicken, can you see that? Barbecue beans, coleslaw, pop chicken, and um, Slimming World chips. Um, Sharing that between two people, I mean, I would add some more coleslaw and some more beans. Um, and that'll be two and a half sins each um, for the barbecue chicken. And, um, yeah, if you want to check out the full recipe for the coleslaw, then um, that is on one of my other videos. So, yeah, so give it a go. Give me a thumbs up if you think you like the look of this and you'd like to give it a try. And, um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this now with my husband. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye then.